Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Hi, I'm Dan. I'm going to be Captain Dave. We're going to be checking our uh, Flight Tracker 24 and our Kitty Hawk app. We're right in the flight path of Wright Patterson Air Force Base and then between two hospitals, uh, Miami Valley Hospital and Children's, both having uh, helicopter uh, heliports and uh, very active. Very close to a couple other airports, so I want to make sure we check everything. Today we're going to take a ride on our Snapton. And Snapton, it's all, uh, Bugs 2. Uh, and a very, very nice little uh, drone. Sub 200 price. We're going to take it out surprisingly uh, far, farther than we thought. We're going to shoot for 600 today. We're on the top of a hill, so we've got a great view. There's a lot of things I don't like about this Snapton drone. The software is glitchy, as you'll be able to see on the on the main app as it connects. And bottom left, you'll see the TF, and even it gets a little glitchy at, at some distance. You can keep an eye on the top left hand corner. It'll show you the connection. And top right hand corner will show you how high we are, how far we are out. Right now, about 300 and. 70 and yeah, moving fairly quickly uh, while we don't have our um, our speed we got a figure of about 15 15 miles an hour we got 16 satellites right now and we're just going to keep pushing it out and we're about a half a block as we look in blocks uh, actually we're coming up to uh, on a normal block like you have around your house where this locks up on the top uh, somehow they get out of sync. I'm not really sure how that works, but uh, in, in the top of the app here, the bottom app's catching up right now. That's literally about two and a half city blocks. Uh, there are just factories and things going on in here. Going across this area, uh, if you look down the bottom left, it, it, it picks up a little bit on the top right here in a minute. And we had a major fire at, at uh, Paper Company, I believe, and and three or four years ago, the city of Dayton, Ohio, still hasn't cleared that up. We're going to just continue to go. And as you start to look, the telemetry keeps picking up and back and forth. But now let's start watching that. There is that wrecked building right there. 670, 680 meters and still going. Even after it locks up, I'm watching it on my remote. I don't have a GoPro. But look here. It keeps going even after it disconnects. 900 or 841 meters connects off and on comes back and on it uh, one point tries to return and I cancel the return here and so uh, you'll see it at bottom left hand corner starting to come back then it'll stop then we'll see it going you can see on the app now top right hand corner 1023 meters uh, now 1053 1,055 meters out, and it's just nothing but the remote here, and uh, and it's connecting and not connecting. Now, that's just a dot in the sky to me, and then here in just a second, I lose it, and once I lose it, I try to take it up a little higher. You can see we're 96 meters above, just so I can move it around in the sky and see it a little bit. Uh, then it, uh, I, I have a disconnection or something like you can see there. It, it starts its own return to home and starts coming back. I'm pretty excited though. This snapped in drone is just, uh, uh, like I said, it's a, they just took a, a Bugs 2 drone and they put their name on it. This app is the same app that a lot of people use. The connection's not very good. The camera is, the actual camera quality is not that terrible. I mean, from 96 meters up, that's a pretty good picture. It's a fixed camera. And so that's not, that's one of the things I don't like. I have a little e Sheen E4 that has a, uh, for the same price, a three axis gimbal. So of course that has a ton of problems its own. I'm still in my war with, um, the whole pro line of uh, of drones, so uh, I, I have a problem paying somebody money and then have to ask them permission in some cases to fly my own 
drone. That's like buying a car. And if I'm going to drive close to the Air Force Base, I have to call and say, ask them, is it okay? And if it's not okay, I can't even start my drone. That means if I want to, if I live next to an Air Force Base, and I want to fly it around my yard, literally. If I just want to pick it up, can't do it. So anyway, I continue on my, on my, um, my quest to find drones that'll give me great pictures, so I can do some, some of this kind of stuff, some aerial photography and some, some things like that. Maybe I don't get the best. However, in the four hundred dollar range, there's some pretty great drones i've got several of them coming and it's not about the money and we'll spend the, as much or more buying several drones to get done what it would uh one of those drones could do and we're gonna we'll have those comparisons on the air we're almost back we're actually uh, right over our landing place here and coming down one of the problems with this uh snapped an app as you go down it locks up sometimes we, i mean wherever you're at it'll lock up on you so, yeah, so some little finesses you have to get around overall not the worst picture in the world they have a little processing on it that softens the edges i that's another thing i'm not happy with uh, i got back on here man after that long flight on this little on this little drone it's still a lot of battery left so i'm go take it out around this uh set of factories here and you see that you can see in the bottom left now we're totally out of sync uh, so I, i'm really if you know put down in the comments why they both start at the same time and i both end them at the same time how they would become out of sync you would think the the um the big picture would be the one that was shorter in that uh, it's the one that freezes like it froze now that tf card down in the left hand corner that's actually the better picture, and uh, maybe I can show that to you. Obviously, it comes out and looks much better. I'll give you a couple of shots off of that. Overall, though, the long, all I wanted to show you is a super long flight, 1,050 meters, as the crow flies straight across Dayton, Ohio. Um, if you were driving that route, you would have been a little over a mile, but as the crows fly, obviously, you're at a, a thousand meters which uh, is not that far but it's it, it's a good four to five city blocks and and it's very impressive for a hundred and eighty dollar drone whether the the main app lost connectivity or not the um the tf picked up every bit of it and did a really really good job so that's all we have. We have just taken a look around Dayton, Ohio. Thanks for flying in this test flight with us. And have a great day.